Hey, what's going on everyone? This is another uh, gear review video. My name is Vinny and I go by the greatest of all Texas and I'm testing out a new fishing accessory. But before I get into it, look at this uh, nice little redfish that I just pulled up from the creek using a mud minnow. Not a keeper, but it's pretty nice to get a catch uh, bite as soon as you jump out here. So stay tuned and let's get into it. Caught this uh, nice little redfish, pretty golden, um, with a nice spot on the back using this circle hook and a live mud minnow. But let me throw him back in because he's a little bit short on the short end, maybe like a 12, 12 inch one. So he's going back in. So put this little redfish back in there. There he goes. So as I was saying, I'm using my Yeti bucket um, to hold my fishing rod right here. But as you can see back there, that's the traditional way with a rod holder. But I wanted to talk about some accessories that I got from this company called Tideline 3D, which they came out with pretty cool uh, accessories that you can get for your Yeti bucket. So as, for example, this one right here is designed to hold your drinks or I'm using it for my uh, leader line. And then on this side right here, you can put your phone or I have an air bubbler, an aerator with my uh, tool, which can also be held on this end right here, which is the two rod holder accessory. So I'm gonna talk a little bit more about each one of those accessories and what you can use them for in more detail and compare it to the old while fishing on the creek. Well, as I was saying, I've had my Yeti bucket for almost a year now, and I use it heavily for fishing, um, loading my tackle, and just trying to even bring back live fish, or if I'm also using it to keep um, live bait in. So I've been trying to build it out to where it's minimal, but yet it holds everything that I need. So that's gonna be tackle, it's gonna have also my um, fishing rods and carry my drink now and just extra things that I'll need when I'm out here fishing like you can see right here on this small creek or if I go to the beach for surf fishing which I want to try and get more into that and also if I even go to the fishing pier um, I know you are thinking like well Yeti buckets are expensive they're not worth it but I can tell you this um, from my year of having it now it has been worth it it's held up been very sturdy very strong it's a good seat it can hold a lot of uh, weight and I have also used it um, you could even put firewood in it when you go camping so it doesn't just have to be for fishing it's also food grade uh, capable so you can put you know crawfish boil you know let a turkey soak in there things like that but if you do want it for fishing, then I highly suggest you check out Tideline 3D because the accessories that they sell are, you don't need all three of them, or maybe you do want all three of them, but they make them for different uses. So the fishing rod holder, you know, is specifically gonna be for holding your fishing rod when you're out there uh, setting up like I am, or if you're getting the other two accessories for your drink holder, that could be going to like a cookout a soccer game something like that and the accessory holder which you can put your cell phone you can put your keys I just heard something jump out there in the water but back to what I was saying uh, the accessory holder can be used for your keys for your cell phone or an aerator like I use it for fishing my line goes perfectly from that tideline 3d holder through the lid of my Yeti bucket back down so as I was saying here, the lid has a removable gasket right there. You can take that out. And now I have a flow and troll bucket in here with some mud minnows. And from there, I run this um, from the, the tube. I'll put it through this lid right here, which the gasket you can always put back in so you can make it watertight. 
And then from there, you can see right here, this Tideline uh, 3D accessory. You can just run it to the aerator right there. So let me adjust this real quick. So right there, you can see fits perfect. So I'm able to keep bait alive and I won't have any spills inside of my vehicle, which has happened in the past where I was transporting live bait and water came out of my bait bucket and got in the trunk or in the back of the FJ, which is not a good thing because it's going to start stinking and it's salt water most of the times. But you are going to be able to use that for multiple things to store. So this other accessory right here, which it will not hold a bigger drink like this bottle from uh, Nalgene, but you are able to fit things like a tumbler from Yeti or any other brand of uh, 32 ounce or smaller, or a water bottle like a Smart Water can fit there. I put one the other day. And right now I'm using it to hold this extra line that I use for uh, creating my leader line. So it's really sturdy, it matches with this gray one. You can also buy them for the uh, Yeti coolers if you don't want or you don't have the bucket system. But today I'm just talking about the bucket accessories that I have. And now for the main one, the one that really sold me on it, that I really enjoy, is the rod holder. So originally when I first got the bucket, I was sticking the rod with the Yeti tool belt holder that goes on the side, which I have. And it just didn't do a good job because it wasn't meant for that. Then I went ahead and bought a uh, Yeti rod holder for their coolers. And I stuck it right here on this little tab, which it, it worked a little bit, but it wasn't sturdy and it was falling over. It, it didn't set all the way. And I read about it on a blog, so I tried it out. But once this came out, this rod fits perfectly in there. And the heavier weight you have in the bucket, the more of an anchor it's gonna hold down. But it's not coming off this bucket unless you remove it because you wanna take off your accessory. And you can put two rods on there. So I threw my jacket on, the gnats were starting to bite me. Um, but what I was saying is, you can see the older method right there using the rod holder is still a good way to keep your fishing gear set up on whatever you're fishing at on whichever river or creek or at the beach but if you're trying to you know go the route of being a more minimal fisherman with something that can hold your gear all in one and you already own the yeti bucket because you probably know that then i highly recommend you checking out tideline 3d i'll put their um, product description link in my uh, video description below and if you check out my instagram greatest of all texas i've taken photos and did other video highlights on the accessories for the yeti bucket made by tideline 3d and if you own a yeti cooler and you're interested in getting those products you should look at their website as well because you can find them available there so that's it right there the um yeti bucket accessories made by tideline 3d that have been working great on my Yeti bucket. Uh, right now I'm fishing off Clapboard Creek in North Jacksonville and I'm using uh, mud minnows. So far I caught one little red waiting for the line to thump again. And on this side, I just wanted to show you what I used to use, which I'd have to carry two of these around as a, it's a homemade rod holder that someone gave me in one of the fishing spots. But make sure you like, subscribe, check out my other videos I'm doing a lot of fishing videos and FJ content along with just outdoor camping gear stuff. So thanks a lot and have a good one. So I came back out. Um, this was after I originally shot the video just to show you that on the Tideline 3D, you can use like a Yeti uh, tumbler. This is like a 32 ounce and the bottom gets narrow or any other tumbler like this. It doesn't have to be Yeti, but it fits really well right there in the cup holder. And I just got this in the mail today, which I'll make a video on this new Yonder water bottle from Yeti. It's a 34 ounce 
And as you can see, when I remove this out, it does not fit. So just a reminder, not all water bottles are gonna fit or cups, but majority of them will. And so this right here is uh, my thermosil that I turned on trying to keep the gnats away from me. But yep, so in this section right there, that's a Cas King um, to keep the fish grips and also Cas King pliers with my um, rod from Bulls Bay and a Shimano 3000 series reel. Just showing you all the ways you can put accessories. And this is my older water bottle that is a 32 ounce uh, Nalgene and it does not fit in there either, which this one's even thicker than the Yeti one. So just giving you an idea of what will fit in that cup holder. But overall, really pleased with these accessories and how they perform.